my car at the side of the road under my mom's house in an apartment building, a polykatikia, how we call it in Greece, next to a church. It was not a decent parking space and I couldn't go away from the car. I had the pillow and I needed to buy a pillowcase from a store that was just 20 meters behind me at the same road. But the road was curvy, so I couldn't see the store entrance of the store. I was waiting for half an hour for a park spot, but no cars have moved, no parking space. I was disappointed. I wanted my pillowcase. After half an hour, I got out of the car to stretch and make an evaluation of what I could do. The car was not blocking anyone and small cars could drive through, but I couldn't leave it there for more than say five minutes. I decided to take my pillow and make a quick run to the pillow store. I will make the run, I thought, and if it lasts longer, I will just get back quickly. In order to be pressured to come back, I left the car door open. A quiet street, a small road. The buildings are tense, but it's just a quiet pharmacy there, a small, a small thrift store, that kind of stores. I grabbed the pillow and ran into the pillow store. The operation has begun. In agony, I rushed into the store. A very well decorated store, my dream store for pillows, pillowcases, bed linen, and all that kind of things that have to go and to do with sleep, a habit I so love. My eyes flashed as I went in. Oh, I said, there were zillions of people there. What should I do? In a split second, I rushed towards the pillowcase section at the back of the store. I arrived there and a very nice lady, an elegant lady, met me and asked, what can I help you with today, sir? Being polite is not my thing. Over polite even distracts me. I'm looking for a pillowcase for my pillow, I said. Here it is. Oh, we have moved the pillowcase section upstairs, she said, smiling brightly. Oh no, escaped my mouth. Why no, sir? Without a reply, I rushed upstairs through an elegant, curvy staircase. To be honest, I had the view at the entrance, but I knew I couldn't see my car from the entrance because the road was a bit curvy. Arriving at the pillow section upstairs, I had to evaluate thousands of pillowcases. I picked one at the spot. In a single split second, I knew what I wanted. There was this geometrical, colorful, light burgundy, light blue pillowcase. It was perfect. Expensive, but perfect. I paid quickly and rushed out to my car. Arriving at the car, I stood there. There was no car. Somebody must have stolen it. Oh no, did I leave the keys on the car? Just under my mom's house? At this moment, I woke up. In agony, I was thinking of calling the police. Should I call my mother first? I thought, maybe she knows better. I called my mom. Mom, my car was stolen. Have you seen it? Seen it, she says. How could I have seen it? But they stole it under your house, I said. Why under my house, she said. But mom, I'm under your house. At the same moment, I really woke up. There, it was me, my beautiful pillowcase I bought yesterday. I hugged the pillow and went back to sleep. I was sure I would find my car in my next sleep segment. Thank you.